Are you guys in need of any Mutt Coins? Look no further than MrMuttCoin.com. They got coins on all platforms, and prices are way down right now. Go check it out. Use code RYAN for 15% off. Yo, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another Madden 18 Ultimate Team video. I know it's been a little bit. I think it's been like six days since we've had a video, but I needed a little bit of break. Um, You know, with Madden right now being kind of in that transition period where we're waiting for, like, uh, the Combine Warriors to come out, which I do have information on that. And, of course, we will be getting, I think we'll be getting golden tickets sometime within the next couple of weeks to months. Uh, maybe, like, a month or two. I'm not really sure when the last ones came out, but I know we're getting really, really close to, like, the really, really good, sh you know, the good stuff in Madden. Almost said the S word there. Um, we're getting close to the really good stuff, and I'm thinking I'm going to take all my coins, like, every coin that I have, and I'm going to actually try to pull a golden ticket this year. Not a golden ticket player. Not a player that someone made. I'm going to try to pull the actual golden ticket. I'm going to rip and rip and rip and rip and rip until I get one. Um, I don't really have use for, you know, all the coins that I have. I'm not going to make another, like, super good team or whatnot. Uh, I don't think I am, at least. But I kind of do want to go for a golden ticket. What do you guys think about that? Should I rip all my coins, like, as much as I can uh, until they're out of packs when they come out? Uh, or should I just save them for, you know, other videos and whatnot? Should I be doing, um, you know, maybe, like, uh, theme team videos? Should I be doing, like, uh, team builders? I'm not really sure what to do with all these coins. I really don't know. Uh, right here, we are wasting a ton of coins. This is what I've been doing throughout the past week, just ripping coins in Game Changer packs and in Legend packs, trying to get the new Ultimate Legends, trying to get the new Limited Time. I think uh, it was Glover Quinn was one of them that was in packs, and then some sort of offensive lineman uh, I was going for. So uh, that's what I've been doing this week. Nothing too crazy. been playing a lot of Fortnite as well. Um, I was going to ask if you guys wanted to see maybe some Fortnite streams. Uh, we play a lot of squads all the time. Uh, myself, you know, Yowie, if you guys remember him, uh, Nick, Clickwid, uh, Josh Norton, if you guys remember him from uh you know the old youtube days and of course everybody's favorite person london rtr we got london to play fortnite he's been playing a little bit and having a lot of fun playing with us so if you guys want to see him on live stream definitely let me know i know a lot of people have been wanting to see uh the return of london even though he may not upload on his own channel uh he will be on my channel playing some fortnite if you guys want to see that uh so that's pretty much what we've been doing there um now, in terms of the Combine Warriors, I was talking about that here at the beginning of the video. Uh, I do have information regarding the Combine Warriors. I'm sure this might already be somewhere on the internet. Someone may have uploaded a video about this. Uh, but real quick, on the screen right about now, and I know it's going to be taking over the pack, uh, but I'll let you guys know if I get anything good in the pack. I'm watching it side by side. Uh, so Jadavian Clowney is one of the Combine Warriors. This is on Madden Mobile, by the way. This is not guaranteed for console. Uh, but you see Jadavian Clowney there. Ryan Shazier, of course. We got information that he will miss the entire 2018-2019 uh, NFL regular season. That is going to be terrible. Uh, but hopefully speedy recovery to him. Hopefully he comes back. Taron Armstead, Patrick Peterson, and Odell Beckham Jr. are going to also be Combine Warrior cards there on Madden Mobile. Maybe we'll see them make a, uh, you know, return to the Combine Warrior here on console. We've seen Taron Armstead in the past, Pat Pete, Ryan Shazier has definitely been there before, and Clowney uh, right there. We got an 86 overall Troy Vincent in the Game Changer pack. Um, and then Odell Beckham Jr., I'm pretty sure he had a Combine Warrior card as well. Um, but hopefully this is going to be a good promo. Like, hopefully this is going to be something kind of similar to Mutt 13. Uh, the Mutt 13 Combine Warrior promo was the absolute best. You put all the Combine Warrior players in uh, from packs into a set, which does give you, you know, X amount of packs, X amount of coins, and gives you the ability to unlock the 99 overall Leon Sandcastle. Why can't they do that for this? Why can't we have the Jadavian Clowney, the Shazier, the Armstead, the Pat Pete, and the Odell Beckham all be cards needed to pull, put into a set to get this card here on your screen right now. The 100 overall, and I know it's not going to be the same for console, 100 overall Chris Johnson. There he is right there, 101 speed, 91 awareness, 91 catching, 96 agility, 100 acceleration. Not only that, but on the bottom there, plus 3 to acceleration to the entire lineup. Uh, so definitely that would be really nice to see if we're able to grind up for that 
get all the cards, and then, you know, do like a solo challenge. Once we collect all the players, we get them all back as an AT, and we also get the Chris Johnson from solo challenges. Why can't they do that? Also, give us like a bundle. Like, give us a bundle for doing the set. Uh, maybe like a, I don't know, maybe five to ten pack legendary bundle. Like, why can't we have that? Why not? Why not make this promo a throwback to Madden 13? Everybody's going to want to go ahead and pull packs for the cards. Everybody would love to finish the set. Everybody would love to have a 99 speed running back on their team. And I think, I think it would be great for everybody. Like, maybe not for, like, the competitive side of Madden. Because I know everybody's going to want that Chris Johnson. Everybody's going to be using him. And, um, you know, EA has kind of went in the direction of catering towards the competitive players rather than catering towards the people that want to build an ultimate team. Uh, but having a Chris Johnson like that and having the ability to do a set like in Madden 13 where you put all the cards in there, you get them all back as NAT, you get some coins, you get some packs, and you get the ability to unlock the Combine Master, which would be Chris Johnson. That would be definitely amazing. But that's the dream. Like, there's two things in this world. What you want to happen and what will happen. You know what's going to happen, guys? Probably a reskin of the Christmas promo. Probably a reskin of the Thanksgiving promo. Probably a reskin of every promo that we've had in this game where we're not really going to get anything all too great. We're going to get a couple of good Combine Warrior players. We're probably not going to get everything that Madden Mobile got. And it's probably going to be a terrible promo. It's probably going to be a terrible set and not worth it to do it like... um you know, add this overall player to get another overall player to upgrade that overall player to another overall player. Oh, but this overall player, if you do that set, you're kind of losing out unless you get one of the best cards in this in the set. Um, and you have like a five to 10% chance of getting that card. Okay, well, I took a 30k profit loss. Let's go ahead and sell it and get back at least some coins. Like I think that's going to be the type of promo we get. And then the main thing is we have to collect, you know, all the combine warriors to get, um, you know, the Combine Master, and I think we will get the cards back in return, but doing the set is probably going to lose coins in the long run. We're not going to get a coin reward. We're not going to get a pack reward. We're just going to get the Chris Johnson, and we're going to lose coins uh, on doing the set if we would have just sold everything else individually. That's what I think we're going to get, but hey, I could definitely hold on to hope that we will get something similar to Madden 13, uh, but I wouldn't exactly you know, get your hopes up fully. Like, I would not really sit there and, and pray for it because it's probably not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> like I said, it's probably going to be a reskin of things that we've seen in the past and probably not going to be anything that a lot of us really want. And that's unfortunate. That's how Madden is lately. And that's how I think it's going to stay for at least the foreseeable future. I'm not sure, you know, what their sales are looking like. I don't know if, you know, they're doing all that great or if they're doing way better than what they've usually done. But as long as people continue to buy packs, as long as people keep putting money into Madden, uh, then things will probably stay the same. They probably see nothing wrong with it, and a lot of people actually ex accept how Madden is now, Madden Ultimate Team. And, I mean, that's fine. I mean, if you if you like the way Madden Ultimate Team is now, that's great. Um, but I would just like to see a little bit more callbacks to, you know, the roots of Madden Ultimate Team. Back when, you know, Madden Ultimate Team was more of a, hey, I'm tired of playing head-to-head, -head. I'm tired of playing against my buddy. I want to go and build a super team. Like, I want to build a super team right away. I want to go ahead and rip a gold player pack, and I want to get a 99 overall Aaron Rodgers with a ability on the card that makes him have plus two to throw power. Like, that's the type of ultimate team that I want. Um, I know it doesn't work all too well for, like, the competitive side of Madden where you have to build and build and build until you get those great players. Um, and I know a lot of people are going to be really upset if they bring that stuff back, but kind of like, why can't we just get like a taste of that? Why do we have to go and, you know, boot up Madden Ultimate Team and the best card we could pull is like an 86 overall, 87 overall player. Um, while there is 90s out there, like they're at the very beginning of Madden Ultimate Team, there are 90 overall players, but they're like impossible to get. Like you're not going to see a 90 overall player come out of your pack day one. And if you do, you're one of the luckiest people on the internet. You're one of the luckiest people that plays Madden Ultimate Team. Like, if you get that type of luck, then you're super lucky. The best thing you're going to pull probably day one is, like, an 86 overall player. That's not a Madden Ultimate Team. That's, like, a Madden, like, in-between Ultimate Team, in-between, like, not even better than the current overall players of normal head-to-head. -head. 
Like, if you play normal head-to-head, there's already, like, 95, 96 overall players. But if you play Madden Ultimate Team, then you're getting, like, 85 and 86 overall players. I don't know. It's just not fun to me. But um, definitely, like I said, let me know. Do you guys want to see some Fortnite with London? Uh, I will be live streaming it on my channel if you guys want to come check it out. Uh, I will also be doing a little bit more Madden stuff with my coins. Uh, like I said, I got, what, 13 million coins right now on my actual account. Uh, after all these videos are done, I sold everything. I got like 13 to 14 million coins. Not sure what I want to do with it. If you guys want to see team builders, if you guys want to see me rip every coin I have into packs, uh, trying to go for like a golden ticket when that comes out, let me know. Uh, just basically anything you guys want, I can do. Um, I know it's not really fun right now playing Madden Ultimate Team. A lot of people are really, really upset with how it's going. And a lot of people are like unsubscribing from this channel and a lot of other people's channels because they're kind of growing out of mutt. And that's understandable, but, you know, whatever you guys want to see, I will do. I've always been about you guys. It's always been you guys first. Whatever you guys want to see, I will consider doing. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys want to see London, like I said, let me know. London has been itching to listen to you guys again and, and interact with you guys. I hear it in his voice all the time. He's like, you want to stream some Fortnite? You guys want to stream some Fortnite? I, I kind of want to interact with the chat and whatnot. So, you know, you know London. Like, London misses you guys. He really does. Um, even though he's probably never going to upload again, he definitely misses interacting with all the people that, you know, watched his videos and, uh, you know, just all the people that have always been there for him when things were really bad with his mom and stuff like that. He really does appreciate all the comments you guys would give him. So, uh, let me know down below. Like I said, let me know everything you guys want to see. I will go ahead and catch you guys later. Like I said, Combine Warriors coming out probably Friday. Going to be pretty cool, hopefully. And I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.